Hi, this is John from Holcomb Metrology Solutions, and in this video tutorial, I wanted to show you how to use the search function. Uh, th this, this is a function that you can use uh, when you run into a situation like this. Uh, I'm measuring a connector today, and um, it's got uh, 20 pins, uh, two rows of 10 each, and I need to measure the heights of these pins. So I want to know the distance you know, from the top of the pin all the way down to the bottom. And uh, as you can see, if I if I move uh, down the top row, uh, these pins are bent um, in a random way. You know, this just happens with connectors. And um, and what makes it challenging then is whenever you're trying to measure uh, the top of them, uh, you're going to want to zoom in uh, to get your accuracy and your Z. Uh, but what can happen then is uh, because the pins are bent, um, is it's it's not really easy to to position your focus tool exactly where the pins are so uh, if I try to do this without search I'm gonna measure a point and we're gonna get the first pin and then I'm gonna switch to copy um, step one this is uh, there's nine more and they are at a hundred thou offset so let's just run it with a straight copy and see how it goes. Uh, of course it gets the first one great. Uh, second one, pretty good. Third one, oh, just barely. Fourth one, pretty good. Yeah, we're looking out pretty well here. Ooh, that one just barely caught it. So, you know, if the pin is bent, uh, the focus is nowhere near right. And there we go. Here's the first one that is, the pin has bent so far uh, that this step is going to fail uh, because it's just it's not in the focus window. So um, when you have a, a random uh, pattern uh, to to something, or maybe you have just some part variability where the features aren't exactly in a row, so that you can do a, a copy command, uh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to do a sort of a two-step process where you first find the step. And then using search, uh, measure it accurately. So I'm going to start over with a new, uh, new program, and we're going to do it with search this time. So uh, the first thing I've got to do is I've got to figure out where the pin is. And I'm going to do that with a centroid uh, target. It's a great tool for this. I'm going to make the, the search window as big as I can. And then I'm going to click, and it's going to find uh, the, the bright spot in the middle of the pin. And I can tweak my threshold a little bit uh, until I get it uh, to look pretty good. And there we go. So that finds the bright spot of the pin, which will be the center. And then it gives me a position to that. So I'm going to hit done. That's my first measurement. Now I'm going to switch to focus. I'm going to position the focus exactly on the, the top where I want it to be. And I'm going to measure a point. Now the trick is I've got to connect this focus point uh, to the centroid that I just measured uh, previously and you do that by clicking nominal and then you click on search and then I want to search in the X and the Y direction when I click those two check boxes it, it will automatically fill in the step number that came prior to the one I'm on so it automatically filled in one and that's typically what you want because that's typically how you do it so then we we'll hit OK and then we'll hit OK and I hit done now when I copy I'm gonna copy both of those steps together since they are linked in the X and Y direction. I need nine more steps and the offset's gonna be 0.1. So there we go and let's see how it runs. Again, so it finds the tip of the pin, it corrects, and it places the focus exactly in the center. So it really doesn't matter where that pin is as long as it's within my uh, centroid search boundary it will find the pin and then uh, with the search command correct for whatever uh, deviation it finds so that it positions the focus exactly in the middle of the pin and uh, I won't have to worry about the routine failing so that's a quick little tip for using the search command hope that helps see you